Shots. Yes! They're absolutely wonderful! Oh, that's great. I can't wait to see tonight's broadcast. Ah! Hmm, that 
the whole reason we're here, haven't you? You were supposed to guide me to Overlord Xenon? Oh. Don't owe me. Getting angry is bad for your health. We should be happy that we punished my father's enemies. <clears throat> Princess, they are not the ones who attacked the palace. <laughs> uh, did I not tell you? What do you mean? Who did this then? Well, it was uh, someone I have never seen before, but, but, but they were really, really strong. They were atrocious. They turned poor, innocent moi into an idiot's frog. They're strong, huh? It might be fun to fight people like that for a change. You're a barbarian! You are even more violent than a monster! Hey, don't compare me to monsters! I'm fighting for my family! Perhaps for now. But was that the glitter of interest I spied in your eyes? You must not fight with them! You cannot win! That is for sure! We don't know that until we try. It is impossible! I speak the truth! For it was the demon lord who opposes Overlord Xenon! There is no mistaking this! I know it had to have been Demon Lord Edna! <laughs> It's six o'clock and time for the news! We have received top secret information from our trusted sources today that confirms the existence of the legendary Overlord Xenon. Overlord Xenon currently lives in a quaint countryside world called Veldheim, where he quietly changes humans into monsters. And now, let's look back at the career of Overlord Xenon. Overlord Xenon has slaughtered over a thousand overlords and is respectfully referred to as the god of all overlords. No one has ever seen him and lived to tell about it, thus earning him the distinction of being a legendary overlord. Eighteen years ago, the bodies of 99 overlords were found dead. Xenon is believed to be responsible, but the truth is still unknown. But this new information may shed new light on the true face of Overlord Xenon. Stay tuned for more developments. Up next, a special report on environmental damage. Reporting for us on the beauty of deforestation is God of Destruction, Alex. How could this happen? My existence has been exposed. Soon, overlords from around the universe may join forces and come charging in. There is not a moment to lose. I must get this under control quickly. Are we clear on this matter now? Whenever you refer to me, it's Princess, okay? But why? Why can't I call you Rosalind? Or Rosy? As some kind of demon, you should show me your proper respect and admiration for being the daughter of your overlord. But you haven't done anything for us to respect you for. I, uh, I don't mind calling you that. I kind of like saying it. Princess. Hey, stop trying to brainwash my little brother and sister with your propaganda. Foolish human, I am not brainwashing them. I am providing them with a rudimentary education for when they become my servants. Aha, mademoiselle. I hear that you possess great summoning skills, huh? I am highly impressed. Would you mind giving a handsome frog a lesson, hmm? Perhaps back there where no one can see us, huh? <laughs> oh my. You shouldn't go around teasing old ladies. 
Sir, do not say such things when I gaze into those three beautiful, innocent eyes of yours. You set my heart ablaze. Oh, <laughs> you've got guts. Seducing a wife in front of her husband. Drak Tink Mahalak! What was I doing? Ah, quit fooling around. Let's go. You better take me to Zenon today. You are much too impatient. Do you wish to die so soon? There they go. I hope they come home safely. Watching your son go off to fight every day is just as painful as fighting. Well, I'm glad he's made some friends, though. Me too. No matter how strong he gets, he shouldn't fight alone. The battlefield is no place to be lonely. Why don't we fight with them? Adele isn't alone! Hanako is here for him! That's right. But the only thing we can do is believe in him and remain safely at home. Is that really all we can do? Hmm. Waiting here is boring. So, which way are we going today? Hmm, let's see. Are you really trying to figure it out? I have to do something about Xenon's curse before it gets worse. Don't you want to be back with your father? Then take... Monsieur Adele, do you not think you are being a bit uh, too harsh? Especially since she will be summoned against her will? Ah, I can't believe I'm being lectured by a talking frog. If you are determined to meet Overlord Zenon, I will take you to him. But only if you have the courage to face him. Just let me know when the terror sinks in and you change your mind, okay? Change my mind. I will defeat Xenon. Tink, can you handle this? I will be fine. You brought me along to help you end his life, yes? Yes, I need your cunning. Then leave it to Tink. I shall surpass your expectations. <laughs> Excusez-moi, Monsieur Adele. Your mother was once a human, but she is a powerful summoner, no? Indeed. She surprised me as well. I never knew that humans could become such great summoners. Well, I heard that she was a pretty famous summoner when she was young. She doesn't really talk about it, but according to the townspeople, she used to get requests from nobles and royalty. Hmm. Did she learn how to summon all by herself? No, she said a friend taught her a long time ago. But she doesn't remember much since Zenon's cursed our world. I see. You must be very proud of her. But to be able to teach someone else skills to that extent, that friend must have been a great summoner.
Yeah. 